Hello folks, welcome to the River Ridge Hot Rod Shop. This is a place that has been around for almost 10 years and it's an exciting place and you love this place. Yes, you can come by, you can become a member, you can work on your vehicle, you can hang out. It's basically a man zone. And what else is there not to love? Anyway, so, so today we're looking at uh, Singleton 18-year-old scotch. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about this online. Uh, I believe it's a Highland. Uh, it's low peat and low smoke and it's just a well put together scotch whiskey. Yeah, see you caught me off guard because um, I was coming back from Mass and I was gonna go to your house and you said come over here and then I thought I was going to be cute and take a shortcut and I got lost I got all frustrated so obviously I had no way to do research on it but it says balanced light and elegant the Glen Dullin distillery Dufftown Keith Banffshire Scotland okay you know the kingdom of Scotland you know people you've heard of it established in 1897 it's a Diageo brand and uh I don't know much about the Singleton. Well, or what, I, what I did is these, these, these folks have been making whiskey for a long time. Yeah, a lot you, longer than any of the whiskeys in the United States. Wow, well, wait. Longer than many of the whiskeys in the United States. Right. It's not. So we're going to go ahead and, and try this one. Uh, now, here's an old. This is an 18 year old. That's an old Jack Daniels bottle. We, yeah, that is a, that's like there's an old Jack Daniels bottle with some, with some new Jack Daniels in it. Yeah, that's a really awesome, uh, cur what do you call that? A, not a carafe or a... Um, antique. Yeah, an antique. Well, I mean, that's the name. So we're going to go ahead and try this. Cheers. Smell the head on it. No, it's, it's just got yeah. a... It's, well, the, the bouquet. <laughs> the bouquet. The bouquet is just fantastic. It's it's got that <coughs> to expect from a uh, an aged Scotch whiskey. Decanter. Um, a decanter, right? I knew there was. I was like, what is the name of those things? Voice from the side, which we may be introducing in other videos. The voice from the crypt. The southern vicinity of the room. The riverside of the room, right? Alright, the riverside. Since we're along the banks of the Mississippi, the mighty Mississippi River. We're on the lake side of the room. Alright. Well, you know, it's very mild in the nose, and I've never even heard of this beer, except I think I saw it listed on the bar.com, which is the IV whiskey. I mean this whiskey, okay. Hey, no, I wasn't even drinking. Alright. Um, go to their website, thebar.com, they have a really nice lineup of all their products, well, many of their products, and um, I think I've seen this, but I did no research, I wouldn't ever, ex I was not expecting to be tasting it today. Right, so the mouthfeel is this kind of full, uh, it's got a complex flavor to it. Yeah, they're saying it's light. I don't think it's light in the mouth. It's light in the flavor, maybe. It's light in the flavor, yes. Um, it's just, it's just pretty good. This, here we go, kids. All right, interrupt, interruption into the video, which is okay by me. Production interrupt. All right, so we All have, right. we have, we have a new player in into the videos, a new solid player. They might show up one day and his hand showed up in like a minute. <laughs> so we really don't know what his name is at the moment. Oh yes, his name is Kevin and he's the owner of the shop. <laughs> now, uh, hey, um, did you talk to him off air one day maybe about the green label we had done or his opinions on that? We did yes, we did speak on it since Kevin is a uh, JD old God. number seven. Drinker, and we'll talk about that. Okay, time. all right, all right. I was just curious. Yep. Focus, focus. Okay. So, like I said, the body of this is strong. It's good to have it. 
It smells really good. I mean, you're smelling scotch. I don't think it's really heavy, but it's like full. I'm you know smelling I mean? sherry. Sherry? You get sherry off of it. Uh, so I'm thinking that maybe this was an oak sherry cast. In a, in a sherry cast. Yeah. Wow. So this is this is remarkably different than anything else that you would get uh, just on a, a highland scale. I want to mention, I want to bring up the fact that I did drink some sherry earlier today. What? And you two beers? No. I drank three beers. <laughs> three beers, kids. Three wow, beers. three and a half as of this Saturday. Three and a half, yeah, at the time of this recording. Three and a half years as of this 12 ounce So I'll, I'll tell you what, I mean, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, but it's, it's not. It's 18 years old. It's woody, you get a lot of compost out of that I say. It's not super peaty, it's not super smoky at all. I mean, if you're looking for the, the smoke experience, this is really not going to fulfill your well, desires. Not, not from, from a highland, you're going to have to go to the East Lake. So maybe next time we'll do a East Lake. Inslee, East. I got to do one research on the pronunciation. No, 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 tomato, tomato. We were saying Glen Morangi, and the guy was like, no, it's Glen Morangi. And I watched a video made by the company, and it's like, Glen Morangi, the wonderful scotch. I was like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. All right, so singleton, I think that's where it pronounced it. I write singleton. All right. Get me across my tongue. Yeah, it's, it's a dynamite product, um, but there's a lot of dynamite, and that's not to disparage this. There's a lot of dynamite products on the market. We have to admit that. Yeah. It's not that hard to find a dynamite product, really. No. Which it's, is hard, a, it's hard to find one at a good price. It's 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 really easy to fall into the status quo and saying, okay, well this label's good and that label's good, but to step away from that and trying something that's a little yeah. less. We were talking about that on air. Than others. We're talking about that off air about price points and you were saying yeah but what's really good on the 20 and I said oh good point we, we got sidetracked we never discussed it so, yeah, yeah but this one is not going to be anywhere close to 20 oh, old forester was pretty good on the 20 oh yeah you got it yeah, that was good one. that was the standard one yeah the 86 yeah. yeah yeah that was pretty good it's on the 20 and you get that 1899 around all, all around here it's it's uh it's pretty decent for it. from yeah. brown foreman bought another company in 1956, but murmur, 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 we will we we'll talk about the other company they bought in 18 or whatever. This is good. Yeah, 1956. Long, 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 long. This has, uh, uh, <clears throat> before we get off the air, this one, I noticed, like many other scotches, or some other scotches at least, it has that, like a waxiness, like a bees wax. Well, it's, it's got the waxiness, it's got the wood, it's, it's everything you expect in the scotch. I mean, Except the smoke. Hey. And again, we're, we're not in the smoke region. The next one we're going to do is the smoke region, and it's going to kill you. The fans and may I'll tell you why. Because I don't think you're ready for the smoke. Smoke? You can't handle the smoke! I'm quite anyway. ready. I'm quite ready for the smoke. Um, Apparently somebody says they're ready for smoke, but I'm not for sure whether he's ready for uh, smoke. I'm pretty sure I'm ready because I'm a very smoke-oriented person. Um, it's dynamite and a uh, smoke it is, kids. Smoke it is. Dear, 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 you And he only had one beer today, believe it or not. Or not. Alright, so um, I think, no, I think it's a dynamite product and um, I, I would give a full endorsement. It, it, every, everything is, isn't going to be everything else. I've said that about beer. Every beer is not going to taste like every other beer. There's no point in it. You know, you can't, they, they've got different characteristics, so right, right. if you have some money you want to spend it, this is a good thing to spend it on. That's what I would Absolutely. Say. It's, it's, it's great. It came in a green bottle, like an old Coca-Cola green bottle. Yeah, right. It's right. really thick and uh, it's just, just a fantastic, I think it's a really great whiskey, so. Yeah. With, with that said, I'd give it an A+. Plus. And I'm going to start giving scores in um, 2019. I'm going to keep to that. I'm not going to give any scores until 2019. But I'm going to say I highly recommend it. I've never had it. You caught me totally off guard about it. I mean, that's the honest truth. I'm not saying that for the video. I had no conception that I would be tasting scotch tonight. None whatsoever. So, single ball too. 
going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. Night, kids. That's it. All right.